What is crankshaft position sensor? Function. How does it works? Types of a crankshaft position sensor. Symptoms of a faulty crankshaft position sensor. How the crankshaft position sensor is tested. Frequently asked questions. What is crankshaft position sensor? Crank sensors are electronic devices that monitor the position or rotational speed of the crankshaft in internal combustion engines, both gasoline and diesel. Engine management systems employ this data to adjust the timing of fuel injection and other engine characteristics. The distributor had to be manually set to a timing mark on petrol engines until electronic crank sensors were available. The crank sensor can be used in combination with a similar camshaft position sensor to monitor the relationship between the pistons and valves in the engine, which is particularly important in engines with variable valve timing. It is also commonly the primary source for the measurement of engine speed in revolutions per minute. Function The followings are the functions of crankshaft position sensors. The crankshaft position sensor's primary function is to determine the crank's position and or rotational speed, RPM. The information sent by the sensor is used by engine adjust units to control factors such as ignition timing and fuel injection timing. In diesel engines, the sensor will control the fuel injection. The sensor output may also be linked to other sensor data, such as the cam position, to determine the current combustion cycle, which is critical for a four-stroke engine's beginning. Sensing A powerful magnet can be found next to the crankshaft if you look closely. Around the crankshaft, you'll also notice steel pins or pegs positioned at regular intervals. This magnet emits a continuous magnetic field all of the time. The steel pins around the crankshaft rotate around this field as the engine starts and the crankshaft spins. As a result of the variation in the field, an AC, alternating current, signal is produced. This also instructs the engine management unit, engine computer, to determine the rotational speed. As a result, the EMU can compute the camshaft's position and speed in order to improve fuel injection and ignition. Adjustments We must learn one thing from modern automobiles. Only if the internal parts are moving at a specific required pace will the engines provide us with efficient performance. The onboard computer can only use the information sent to it by the crankshaft position sensor once it detects the rotation of the crankshaft inside the engine. This is when the computer makes little adjustments or fine-tunes to the engine in order to improve its efficiency. Consider the situations in which you're going full throttle. The computer needs to make these tiny adjustments to the engine in order to modify the speed in settings like cruise mode or sports mode because the throttle is constant. The computer will make sure that the crankshaft's rotational speed is constantly monitored, compared to the appropriate range, and speed adjustments are made as needed. This adjustment can be made in terms of both speed increase and speed decrease. How does it work? The crankshaft position sensor is attached to the engine block facing the timing rotor on the crankshaft. It counts the number of teeth on the crankshaft that have passed the sensor, sending this value to the ECU which can then work out where the crankshaft is on its 360-degree rotation. The rate of positional change is used to calculate the engine's rotational speed. As the crankshaft rotates, the sensor produces a pulsed voltage signal, where each pulse corresponds to the tooth on the reluctor ring. In the photo above shows the actual signal from the crankshaft position sensor with the engine idling. In this vehicle, the reluctor ring is made with two missing teeth, as you can notice on the graph. The PCM uses the signal from the crankshaft position sensor to determine at what time to produce the spark and in which cylinder. The signal from the crankshaft position is also used to monitor if any of the cylinders misfires. If the signal from the sensor is missing, there will be no spark and fuel injectors won't operate. Types of a crankshaft position sensor Some of the different sensors used to sense the crankshaft position are given below. Inductive crankshaft sensor In this type of sensor, the sensor is consists of a permanent magnet and winding coil. When the reluctor wheel is in stop condition, two winding coil is under a constant magnetic field of the permanent magnet. 
But when the reluctor wheel starts to rotate the teeth of reluctor disturb the magnetic field. Therefore due to the change in a magnetic field, the EMF is generated inside of the winding coil which is used to generate a pulse signal. In this type of crankshaft position sensor, a magnet is used to detect a signal from the engine cranking. Either in the engine block, close to the flywheel, or close to the crankshaft itself. Notches on a spinning disc, reluctor wheel, or crankshaft are picked up by it. The magnetic field changes as each notch pass, sending an alternating current signal to the ECU. Hall Effect Sensor It consists of the permanent magnet along with the sensing element. The sensing element is under the magnetic field of a permanent magnet. When the teeth of the relative will disturb the magnetic field, the resistance of the sensing element also changes. This fluctuation in resistance is used to create a pulse voltage signal. This type is similar to the inductive sensor in that it is positioned in the same locations and responds to the same notches. It creates a digital signal instead of an analog AC signal. As the notches travel by the sensor, it turns on or off. Optical Crankshaft Position Sensor As shown in the figure above the slotted wheel is mounted on the crankshaft. The light source and photodiode are arranged on either side of the slotted wheel. All these three components are arranged in such a way that when the slot on the slotted wheel comes between the light source and photodiode, the light will incident on the photodiode. The resistance of the photodiode varies with the change in intensity of incident light. Hence when the slotted disc starts to rotate, then due to the fluctuations of the photodiode, the pulse signal is generated by the sensor. This pulsating signal is provided as input to the ECU. Symptoms of a faulty crankshaft position sensor The followings are the common problem one encounter when a crankshaft position sensor fails. Difficult starting Difficulty starting the car is the most prevalent indication of a damaged or failed crankshaft position sensor. The crankshaft position sensor keeps track of the crankshaft's position and speed, as well as other information that is vital when starting the engine. The car may have intermittent starting troubles or not start at all if the crankshaft position sensor is malfunctioning. Intermittent stalling Intermittent stalling is another common indication of a malfunctioning crankshaft position sensor. If there is a problem with the crankshaft position sensor or its wiring, the crankshaft signal can be cut off while the engine is operating, causing the engine to stall. This is frequently an indication of a wiring issue. This symptom can potentially be caused by a faulty crankshaft position sensor. Check engine light is on. An illuminated check engine light is another sign of a possible problem with the crankshaft position sensor. If the computer identifies a problem with the signal from the crankshaft position sensor, the check engine light will illuminate to inform the driver. A check engine light can be triggered by a variety of other problems. It is highly suggested that the computer be inspected for error codes. The engine control unit is unable to adjust spark timing and fuel injection when the engine speed increases due to erroneous input from the crankshaft position sensor. A lack of accuracy can cause slow or uneven acceleration, making it difficult to maintain a constant pace. Engine misfires and vibrates. A transient stutter in the engine could be a sign of misfiring cylinders caused by a faulty crankshaft position sensor. When a crankshaft position sensor fails, it is unable to deliver accurate information about piston positioning in the engine, resulting in cylinder misfiring. This could also be caused by improper spark plug timing, but if the spark plug is fine, the crankshaft sensor is the most likely culprit. Engine rough idle and or vibrating. Rough idling is another indicator of a crankshaft position sensor problem. You may detect the motor grinding or vibrating while stopped at a red light or otherwise. When this happens, the sensor isn't monitoring the position of the crankshaft, resulting in vibrations that reduce overall engine output. The engine's mileage tracking can also be hampered by the vibration. Any unusual vibrations should be investigated as soon as possible by a mechanic. Gas mileage is reduced. Fuel injectors will not properly pump gas into the engine if the crankshaft position sensor does not provide appropriate timing information. On short and long drives, 
the engine will use more gas than it needs, lowering overall fuel economy. Inspect the sensor with a mechanic, as insufficient fuel economy might be caused by a variety of faults. How the crankshaft position sensor is tested. Whenever there is a suspicion that the problem might be caused by a crankshaft position sensor or if there is a related trouble code, the sensor must be visually inspected for cracks, loose or corroded connector pins or other obvious damage. The proper gap between the tip of the sensor and the reluctor ring is also very important. For the pickup coil type sensors, the testing procedure includes checking the resistance. For example, for the 2008 Ford Escape, the resistance of the crankshaft position sensor should be between 250 to 1000 ohms, according to AutoZone. We measured 285.6 ohms, which is within specifications. If the resistance is lower or higher than specified, the sensor must be replaced. For the hall type sensors, the reference voltage and the ground signal must be tested. The most accurate way to test a crankshaft position sensor is checking the sensor signal with an oscilloscope. Sometimes, the sensor may have an intermittent fault that is not present during testing. In this case checking for technical service bulletins and researching common problems may help. The crankshaft position sensor can be checked with a scan tool. It shows the sensor signal as engine RPM or engine speed. When this could be helpful. If a car stalls intermittently, monitoring the sensor signal can provide the answer. If the sensor signal suddenly drops to zero and then comes back it means either there is a problem inside the sensor or with the sensor wiring or connector. If the sensor works properly, the RPM signal should drop or rise gradually. Frequently asked questions. What happens if you drive with a bad crankshaft position sensor? If the crank's position sensor has its own wiring trouble, it too can cause your engine to stall. When your car stops amid traffic is can be not only frightening but dangerous. Stalling out can happen while idling at a stoplight, or it can happen while driving on a highway. Can a car run without a crankshaft position sensor? The crankshaft position sensor is the most important of all engine management sensors, and the engine will absolutely not run without it. What sensor would stop a car from starting? A crankshaft position sensor, crank sensor, is an important device measuring the engine RPM and tracing the crankshaft position. The car won't start if the crankshaft position sensor doesn't work properly. The crank sensor can fail, or its wiring can get damaged. This may cause the car to stall or not start. Will disconnecting battery reset crankshaft sensor? To reset the check engine light you can disconnect the battery via the negative battery terminal and let the vehicle sit for an hour before reconnecting the battery. This will drain all of the power from the electronics and clear any short-term memory. Can oil damage a crankshaft sensor? Oil will not hurt the CKP itself, but if oil gets into the connector, it can cause a poor electrical connection. CKP is just a magnet with a coil of fine wire wrapped around it. Have you checked for any stored codes? There was no oil on the outside of the sensor or the connector, just the black shaft part.